What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educated Bar Fly. Today, I have a special episode for you. Shauna Race from Talktails the Podcast is here to make a cocktail for us. Talktails the Podcast is a bartender storytelling podcast, which is awesome. I'm on an episode. It's episode number 10 if you want to see it. Um, I subscribe to it and I listen to it. It's really great. She does a wonderful do- job. She co hosts it, she co created it with her awesome, awesome co host, Matt and co-creator Matt. He's great. I love him. (laughs) Uh, So today, what are you going to make for us? What are we doing? So I'm doing a cocktail that I created. This was a a cocktail I created back in Baltimore days, um, and it's called the Rum Ham. Why is it called the Rum Ham? I don't know. (laughs) Let me tell you. Why is it called the Rum Ham? Let me tell you. It is called the Rum Ham because it's a cocktail that was based off a episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and this episode specifically is when they go to the Eastern Shore. Dan DeVito has a ham that is soaked in rum, and he brought it to give to Mac because he wanted cocktails, but he wanted to eat as well. So all the dogs on the... So like, wait a minute, yeah. he wanted to get drunk and eat as well, so he just soaked, soaked a ham, ham and, and rum? rum. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, I'm definitely going to have to check that episode out. <laughs> what, it's like my favorite. And so then they, the dogs keep trying to get the rum ham, and so they have to go out to the ocean, and then they like get stranded out in the ocean with this rum ham, and the rum ham kind of floats away like Wilson. <laughs> like in the uh, Castaway? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So I, I got kind of obsessed over this episode and I really liked the show. And so I like kept talking about, kept, and I kept like screaming rum ham when I was working and people were being really annoyed with me. So I'm like, okay, I just need to make a cocktail called rum ham. And so this is kind of what, what developed from this like a this little short obsession. All right, sweet. Let's do it before the guys that are mm-hmm. raking and using machinery next door make it so you can't hear us anymore. Oh gosh, here it comes. Okay. Here it comes. So yeah, he's doing it. We're doing a uh, half ounce of lemon juice. We are going to also go a little tiki style here. Boom. Oh, might be. <laughs> uh, and it's one ounce of pineapple juice. And we're gonna get in this aperol here, and that's gonna be one ounce as well. Right in the tin, not in the glass. Hmm. And then uh, we're using the plantation blended rum, and that's going to be two ounces of that. And then we're going to do egg white. Yay, Yay, egg white. Egg white. I love egg white cocktails. I do too. And why do you love egg white cocktails? Because they're so frothy and creamy and good. They're, <laughs> that's why I love them. People are freaked out about them, but I got to tell you guys, salmonella only infects like one, like maybe maybe three percent of the eggs. You know, because the egg industry washes the eggs, you really don't have to worry about it. There's not a lot of cases of it, so you should not be worried about egg whites in your cocktails. I love them; they're wonderful. Okay, and then gonna. There you go. Lock it good. You don't want to open that up on you. If you don't lock your tin, it's gonna open up on you, and you're gonna get cocktail all over yourself. So just remember to lock that tin. Lock the tin. Yep. And then shake this for a while. <laughs> yeah, you want to emulsify the egg. So basically what you're doing is you're adding air to the egg and it is frothing the egg up sort of like meringue, kind of like handmade meringue. You can kind of feel it in the tin when it's like there too. It kind of has this more airy. Look, it's like of, a lighter feeling to it. You're it's right. It's like yeah. you're floating on a cloud. <laughs> That's what it kind of <laughs> tastes like too. <laughs> just do a quick tap on the side to release that seal. And then I'm going to add just a couple keys in there. Oh yeah, it's looking nice and frothy. And again, really, let's hammer that down. Shake it! <laughs> Sorry, Leandro. <laughs> That's you cool. didn't know what you were expecting, did you? <laughs> You're just the only bartender I know that 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 just hammers it in midair to lock the tin. Really? And it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the, the hammer. The hammer? The, the Shauna hammer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. There you go. Ooh, you gotta do that pretty good. It's been being very finicky for me today. Ooh-hoo. So I'm just gonna add some a little ice in this glass because, because this drink is refreshing. So I just wanna make sure it stays really cold. You can sip on it. It stays nice and clear. Uh, I'm actually, well, no, I'm not gonna double spoon. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Perfect pour. Dude, look at that color, too. Oh, man, so beautiful. And then it's not a rum ham without a pork product. So we do have candy bacon, a little orange wedge with a couple Luxardo cherries. 
just to top it off there. And there you have it, the rum, rum ham. ham. I gotta say though, guys, I'm really sorry about the sound issues that we're having. We are in an open air studio and now people are doing yard work, so that's what you're hearing. Yard work, other person's, other people's yard work. <laughs> yep. It's music to my ears. All right, here we go. Let's taste it. Oh yeah, taste it. I think I need a straw for this one. Let's grab a straw, stick it in. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay. Acidic on the front end, you get the Aperol, pineapple. The rum is like really well incorporated in here though. Oh yeah? Yeah, I this like is that. like, this is a drink that get you sneaky drunk. Like this is a drink where you're like, oh, it's just, it's just a little Aperol, it's just a little afternoon, I could crush this and then, and then you, you just get on, hammered. And you wake up in a floaty in the middle of the ocean with a rum ham floating away. That's right, then you wake up on a floaty in the middle of the ocean with a rum ham. It's an amazing drink. I love it. Thanks, Leandro. Shauna raises rum ham. <laughs>